WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a mostly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update and a slight mix to our bag out there. You've got the semiconductors that are trading down 12 points. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices, including the spot volatilities, are trading to the upside. Dow's up 72 points, S&P 10, NASDAQ 122, Russell's up 4, Tranny's up 142. You've got gold trading up 32 bucks at 23.78. Silver's up a buck 22. That's a 4% move there. It's trading out at 30.78. Lights Recruiters up 73 cents, trading at 81.42. Natural gas is off eight pennies, 30 year treasuries down one point, printed out at 119.14. Let's try to figure out what all that what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES mini. The ES mini formed a TD9 count top. It would get negated today if price closed above 55.61. If it gets negated, price should then target 56.78. That's its A to B equals CD pattern of the upside. However, the caveat is we are in bar number seven of its wave count, of its Chapman wave count out there. That needs a lower high to confirm that pattern. So even though the TD9 count could fail, at day's end, you still have that wave seven to contend with. Now we can see spot volatilix has a little rising bottoms pattern out there, but still below its 50 day exponential moving average. So what does that mean? What that means is if we see a close above the 50 day exponential moving average, currently printed out at 1332, control will shift back to the sellers. So if we take a look at the NQ, the NQ actually just popped up a new profile. So this is a profile that will not be confirmed until this evening. It has a TD9 count topping pattern. That TD9 count top would be negated with a close above 20, 271 and a quarter. Now, if this profile takes hold, we may only see price pull back to 20, 029. If we take a look at US dollar index rallying this morning, Morning, but still unable to close above the center of that weekly profile, and that's up at the 105.22 level. Goldilocks is taking out its descending trend line. Does that mean it's got a change in trend? No. Price right now is taking out or should rally up towards the top of its daily profile. That's at 23.86.20. A close above that would generate a change in trend signal. In the case of silver, found support at the bottom of its uh, daily profile. Has an A to B equals CD pattern with a price projection of 34.03. Uh, Light sweet crude is in bar number nine today. That says we could get a TD9 count top between today and tomorrow. So I we'll want to take a look at that come tomorrow. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at it later in the show. If we take a look at natural gas, natural gas consolidating with inside its daily profile. This is a bear structured profile. Price should target support, which is down at two dollars and seventy six cents to the thirty year treasury. It's got to sell the D point pattern. Should lead to lower price. Its level of support is down at the one sixteen twenty to one sixteen oh two area. Folks, if you'd be kind enough, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.